everyone. Do you understand that water harvesting, roof catchment is a critical and valuable investment that you need to do to help you have fish at home? Have a look at what Stanley Onuko has done. Can you please just imagine he has invested in roof catchment, saving all the waters from the roof to have amazing fish pond and now he's harvesting fish. The community are benefiting. This is one of the role models, sustainable innovations that can be used in the communities to impact climate change while is increasing household income. We are in Migori County and we are meeting Stanley to help us learn more on how we can sustainably harvest rainwater to have sustainable fish farming in a very dry region, very far from the election. Welcome on Stanley, take us through the process. I am Stanley Onuko okay. from Migori County, Rogo Sub County, North Kamagambo Ward, South Kamoro Sub Location, Tupidui Kanya Kwanya Village. Okay. I do fish farming, but for this case, I started it because this is a different homestead. Given the fact that uh, I'm a polygamist and I have ponds in my bigger elder wife's homestead, I have six ponds. My second home prevailed over me to have a fish pond in this other farm. So I sat down and thought on how to implement the project of having a fish pond on a hillock at the top of a hill. I walked around and saw other people, especially a chuku, who is having concrete ponds in a dry place. So this case was done because of, due to inspiration by what I saw at Achuku's place, Joram Achuku's place. I saw the possibility of harvesting water from the roof, putting it to the top. So I sat down and made a gross magic for this pond. I called the fundies and they made me a bill of quantity and then I fetched for fund to fund the construction of this pond and the gutters. The cost of this pond and the gutters is 110,000 shillings. There is other cost which I have not met, bringing a tank next to the pond, so that the water harvested should come to the tank first, and is when it is dropped into the pond. But I have not met that. I am yet to do it. I know you are digging into, you want to know the reason why I made this pond. It was due to pressure of my children who said, Father, if we have ponds there, why can't we have ponds next to our house here? I said it is possible, but let me look for fun. Uh, things, something bad can come and it is a blessing in this guy. How is it a blessing? Corona came. Children stopped going to school. So all the funds that I could have spent on school fee, I put them here. During the 2020. Up to 20, uh, during the, 20, the year 2020, from March year 2020. Okay. If you do cost benefit fit analysis, can you be able to get that money you invested off the fish and how many fish can this pond hold? Uh, 
I'll get my money back after five years. I have done one sack of 200 fish where I produced each piece cost 80 shillings times 200. So I'll get my money after a period of time. If it is a matter of cost effectiveness. But it can as well, I can as well get half of my money at one circle. Hey. I can get my money within one circle if I stock more than, if I stock 400 fingerlings. If I stock 400 fingerlings here, I can get back my money after maybe three, two to three circles. Uh, management of such a pond is easier. The tiled, the tiled pond. Management of liner ponds is easier than the other ponds. Why is it easy? You can. Uh, it is easy because. The fish cannot disappear in the mud. You get the number as you put them, as you stock them. Or you can get the number increased if they are uh, fish which are reproducing, which are multiplying. But mud ponds have got problems. One, water seepage. Any little drought affect the mud ponds. But lion and these ones, drought does not affect them. Because you know that you are sure of the source of water. But the challenge is one, predators. As much as the other ponds predators invade, they as well invade. They invade tiled ponds, they invade the liner ponds. But should I manage to get the covenant, then I'll, that case will be done. Thank you so much for watching this show. I hope you've learned something. And please, may you take this to the next level. Scale it up wherever you are. If you need any information on how to take this to the next level, please reach out to us so that we can be able to help you take your village to the next level while supporting your family and increasing household income. Thank you.